For many years, Minecraft YouTubers have released their own texture packs. These texture packs enhance the game's graphics, allowing it to appeal to certain categories. Some are PvP texture packs, some are about nature, some are making Minecraft look ridiculously, ridiculously realistic. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the most popular Bedwars texture packs, and at the end of the video, I'm going to be giving you my opinion on my personal favorite texture pack. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, but anyways, let's get right into it. Okay guys, we're in the first game, and first up is Time Dio's 2K pack. I gotta say the noises are a little bit weird. I do like the crosshair, kind of nostalgic in a way. Same goes for the wool. I do like how vibrant it is. Let's see, uh, feel the energy put behind the game. That lightning sound is pretty cool, actually. I do like that. I would like to be able to kill someone without dying, but you don't get what you want in life sometimes. I really do like the vibrance of this pack. I definitely think I should start using this one for thumbnails. If we take a look at the sword and the pickaxe, the pickaxe is pretty subtly different. Like it's different, but it's not too different to where it looks weird. So that's nice. And I do like the sword i like how it angles up i did not download the revamp version this is just the original version but i do think this original version does look really nice if you guys want a part two i'll be reviewing some of these same texture packs but like different revamps of them so we can get like an overall feel like which is better the original or revamp the noises are a little bit weird for opening chests and stuff it's pretty cool though so far this is a pretty solid texture pack and i definitely would recommend using it because i mean this thing is really nice looking the lightning sounds and the chest sounds are pretty cool, in my opinion. I do like them quite a bit. I don't like that, though. So overall, this is a pretty solid pack, and now I'm just gonna talk about the game, I guess. I should probably review a little bit more textures, like the diamonds, for example. They're unique, personally, not my favorite, but at the same time, it does work very well with the pack. Like, these are all, like, they're similar textures, and they all look really nice. If we look in here, nice armor, nice armor textures. We got a nice fireball texture, ender pearl. All these textures just look really nice, in my opinion. So Aqua's gonna come fight me now. Okay, that looked suspicious, I bet. Sorry, dude. There's a quarrel at Aqua. I wonder who's gonna win. Yep, it was blue. Blue is a little bit suspicious, in my opinion. Let's go in for an actual fight and not just getting knocked off, and we'll see the difference here. Okay, that was a really good fight. Um, good fight. Well, that's a nice noise. We are now reviewing Cool Dude 951s 15k texture pack, and I gotta say, this is a solid pack so far. My bridging isn't, but the pack is nice. I mean, look at the sky, and look at the beds, they look really cool. Did White seriously just go all that time just to do that? The crosshair is one of my favorite parts about this texture pack, actually. I mean, look how unique it is. And once again, the pack is very vibrant. I really do like the textures, like the sword. If we look in here, look at all this armor. Fireball's the same as my pack, actually. I was like, man, that fireball looks really familiar. Yeah, because it's uh, the one I use in my pack. Now, Gray just fell into the void because uh, they're not the smartest player. I'm hoping that means I don't have to worry about them too much, so I'm just going to head in here. I do want to note, guys, that this type of video isn't the best way to showcase a pack because, you know, uh, I'm playing a game... Oh, hey, Gray. Um, sorry about that, buddy. I'm intelligent. The diamonds look pretty similar texture to the, or I think it's the same texture as the emeralds in Tapple's texture pack, but I do like them as well. They are pretty nice. I like the shade of blue. Once again, the wool is pretty familiar. This is a pretty standard wool texture for Bed Wars YouTubers texture packs. I do like the hearts and the hunger. They are nice and vibrant as well. Now, this texture pack is, I think it was a 64 bit. So the simplicity, like the 16 bit on the hearts and the hunger is actually pretty cool. What? No, 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 no. What? I don't know why I keep getting on Lighthouse because once again, we're on Lighthouse, but I wonder if you could tell whose texture pack this is. That's right, guys. We are reviewing Purple 3K texture pack, and I gotta say, the wool is my favorite wool texture in any texture pack. I don't know why I love it so much. I just kind of do. It's just kind of my preferred choice 
may not be your favorite, but it's definitely my favorite. Now, for some reason, the sky is quite dark, but I do like the red and gray atmosphere. And of course, the golden apples are not golden. They are purple because this is purple's texture pack. Haha. <laughs> Very humorous, of course. Crosshair, once again, is pretty nice. Keep in mind, this is purple's texture pack. So I don't know why the diamonds are default. Why, why would you do that, purple? Huh? Huh? Now, one thing I am not the biggest fan of is the armor. With that little break right there, that kind of tells you how much armor you have on. It's not very clear how much your armor stat is, so... It's not my preferred thing. If you guys like it, again, it's your opinion. This is simply my opinion, but I'm personally not a fan of the vagueness. Now, I am using the lightning effect, just like purple does, so that's kind of funny. It does not relate to this pack at all, but I figured that'd be kind of funny. Hello, you're gonna kill me. Oh, thank you for that boost. And then red is on the right of my base. I'm just gonna avoid. Might as well get my health back. All right, sorry, Red. I know you really wanted that bed. Now I just gotta go all the way across the map to get back to yellow because I decided to void to save my bed. Now, I haven't talked about the fireball yet. I think it's just default, which is fine. I'm not too picky. I do like the sandstone textures. Those are nice and clean. Yellow's gonna hate me for this one. Wait, what? It missed? How does it miss? I don't understand. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, next up is the 30 virus texture pack. That's right, guys, this guy, you know, the guy with the most beautiful bad line cloak ever that you should totally purchase right now. I'm sorry, this video is not sponsored. I had to pay for it myself because Brandon didn't want to sponsor my video. Anyways, we're reviewing his texture pack now. Some things I do like, this is a, like a default crosshair, but it's like slightly different. It's not really that different, but it's just a little bit smaller. It fits pretty nicely. Like it has a nice vibe to it. Now you did not expect the Spanish Inquisition because whoever does, right? And another good thing about this pack is the XP bar. It's pretty nice. I, I really do like it. I like the RGB rainbow type thing going. Pretty epic. Pretty pog. Now, I do like the hearts, and I do like the armor, and I do like the hunger. But what I don't like about each of those respective things is the hearts that I've noticed whenever branded PvP is on stream, they don't update as quickly as they should. Not being able to see what your health is in the heat of a moment could be damaging, and I've noticed that oftentimes it kind of is. That's really the only reason I don't use this pack. I really do like it. Hello, red. Goodbye, red. All right, dude, you do realize that your base is a lot closer. <sighs> Pink or white, I swear. Why would you go to my bed, white? You have a neighbor. What was the point in that? Well, I guess we can just sit here and review some stuff. So fireball, nice. I really do like the pearls. Those are really nice looking in my opinion. They're some of my favorite pearls. I do like the tools. The golden apples look nice as well. The swords, I have mixed feeling about them. Like overall, they're good. I have just grown more fond of less of this like standard rigid edge and more of a, like a flatter edge, kind of like faithful PVP packs, you know, with the flat edge. And then like it has like a sharp edge, kind of something like that to make it look more clean. And that's like a Minecraft sword. Yep. Oh yeah, by the way, we're on rooftop. This was on purpose, by the way. This wasn't just me being... That was because... That was really funny. I don't know how I did that. That was because Brandon actually built this map in his Skyblock Island. I was kind of obligated to choose this map. I mean, there was literally no other map I could play with this. That was scary. You cannot escape. I have jump boost. That makes literally no sense why you would try to escape. Hello. Whoa! Okay, guys, we're in the next game. Now, I was about to record, or I already did record one with this game, but what happened was I got targeted by fans, and I felt like that didn't give much representation of the pack. We are, of course, now using Sammy Green's texture pack, and this is his OG texture pack. I think this is, what, 2K? So last game, I didn't do a good job of actually talking about the pack, and then I got targeted by a fan. I agreed to give him a screenie, and you know what he does? He goes and breaks my bed. Not cool. Not awesome. Okay, thank you Hypixel. So this pack is pretty nice. I really I do like the wool. It's pretty standard wool for a Bed Wars pack. I'm not gonna lie. It's not really that unique in that department. It is, however, unique in the crosshair department. The hearts and the hunger and the armor, I really do like. They are quite nice. Might as well explain something. I'm probably gonna get canceled on Twitter. I said nope. I sent him a friend request. If he accepts it, I'm just gonna tell him do screenies in lobbies, not in game, because that's bad. I was gonna give him the screenie too. He asked for a screenie. I said I was gonna give it to him, and then he goes and breaks my bed. Like I broke white's bed. I did some really cool play on white. 
fight and then he goes and breaks my bed so i was not happy about that so of course i said not a good fight because it, i mean you, you you just why why do people ask for screenies and then they're like gotta kill the youtuber and yes it was a youtuber thing wasn't mvp plus plus thing but if you still want that screen and you're watching this video just shoot me a dm on discord and i'll give it to you because i really don't care too much it's just a game but yeah if you ever see me in a game and want a screenie at that time i said yes and i got my bed broken i don't know why he literally just didn't want to wait while i broke white's bed but so what does all this mean aiden means i'm bad all jokes aside <laughs> all jokes aside we can talk about the texture pack now diamonds these are actually the same as cool dude 95's one pack if i do remember correctly crosshair is an x which is pretty cool I haven't seen anything like that before i think it adds a little extra level of uh uniqueness to the pack um now the particles are particles i've seen before the ender pearl is nice and simple like it actually looks like a pearl which is pretty cool i do like that i would say it definitely fits the pack okay here we go amazing battle time i said amazing battle time no you are not escaping there we go Alright guys, the last texture pack we're going to be taking a look at is of course the Manhall IQ Abyss V3. I don't know why I said of course, I've literally never used one of his packs before, but I figured Bedwars pack, he's the number one Bedwars player now. Alright, so the PvP on this pack is not going too well for me, but I'll review the pack. So the iron and gold, they're very blurry. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. Is that a good thing? I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. Is it my personal preference? Not really, but it does fit a theme, so that's nice. Get out of my game, you little weasel! There we go. Now back to the pack. I mean, look at this helmet. This helmet looks really cool. I really do like the helmet. Now the diamonds. Look at these diamonds, man. These are some of the coolest looking diamonds I've ever seen in my life. Now, I'm not too much a fan of the blurry textures. However, I do notice something that does look quite similar to my pack. This, 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 these. There are probably other things that I just messed up on. You get the idea. This pack looks pretty similar to my pack. Hey, how's it going? I would love to kill you right now. Oh, this is so ironic. <laughs> no, no. Oh, ho, ho. Did you see that combo? Leave a like and subscribe for that combo right there. That was poetic right there. Killed a Gamer Boy 80 skin with the Manhall IQ texture pack. I am sorry, Gamer Boy 80. He's not watching this video, it's okay. He's not watching this video, but if he was, I would say I'm sorry. But he's not, because he doesn't watch my videos, so it's okay. Sorry, right. he doesn't have to worry any about anything. No, let me kill your bet. Why am I dying? All right, Red, I'm just gonna follow you if you don't mind. I know you don't like being followed too much. Thank you for these emeralds. I do like the gems. Emeralds and diamonds, they do look really cool. I really like these emeralds. I, am, I might have to use these emeralds for a future texture pack. Gotta say, they are amazing looking. I don't know how I didn't die there, but okay. Eh, no! Thank you, and I'm just gonna go this way. Just kidding. I actually have an ender chest loot to loot. What is he doing? Oh, oh, thank you, pack. I, I blame the I blame the texture pack for my amazing PvP skill. Leave a like down below and subscribe for that clutch as well. Now Pink's totally convinced I'm a cheater. Where are you gonna go? Okay, that was not fun. Now, I would like to not die, so let's do that first. Alright, so hopefully that helped deplete some of his health, and you can go away. You can't say that wasn't a cool play. Totally, definitely, 100%. Where is he going? Okay, still my final. <laughs> Well, guys, those were some of the most popular YouTuber texture packs for Bed Wars. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, join the Discord server, links in the description and the comment. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ingrinja. And guys, before we head out, I did promise to tell you which one I thought was my favorite. Now, honestly, I really do like Manhall IQ's texture pack. I love the gems, but personally, it's not for me. If I had to go for any texture pack of these bunch, I love the wool on purples. I love the gems on Manhalls. I love the vibrance on Cool Dudes and Time D. But if there is a pack I would choose, I suppose it would have to be... 
the Eden Greninja 3K pack. Link's in the description and a pinned comment. If you guys want to go download it right now, I just said it. It's in the description and the pinned comment. Let me know that you download it and are using it. Send me a screenshot on Twitter if you're using it, and I might just give you a heart, and I might retweet the tweet. But anyways, that's pretty much it, so peace out, guys, and thanks for watching.